the wedding march series of movies and of course for his role as Sheriff Bill in When Calls the Heart. I know him as my golf idol. <laughs> but you know him as many other things. Please welcome back my buddy, Jack Langley. Thank you. And you, you are, are my man. Guys. You are lovely. Jack, you know that. You. you know that. Now, good to see you again. Thanks, buddy. We were all just hanging out fairly recently yeah. at a big Hallmark event. And right. what I understand was this, this happened after I left. But you caused a little kerfuffle at the valet yeah. stand. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, the, the fans started to go a little bit crazy. Yeah, totally unexpected. In, in a good yeah, way, yeah. Very, very unexpected because... Uh, Josie and I, Josie Bissett and myself, we do the series of Wedding March movies. Yeah. And Courtney Thorne Smith yeah. from Melrose Place. Yes. All of and together. Emma Fielding has Mysteries Emma as well. Emma Fielding yeah. Mysteries. Yeah. And so we're literally walking and talking out to, to the to valet. You know, our cars are there. And it just became this frenzy. And we're like going, what's going on? And it was a Melrose frenzy. Yes. Just kind of like, oh, that's right. We were on this really big series in the 90s together. And it was just <laughs> kind of cool to walk down memory lane a little bit. And, and it's so yeah. funny how, how so many things have, you know, you've gone on to do so many different things, all of you, yes. that you forget when you're just sitting and talking, but the audience will never, never forget. forget. Yeah, Ever. I mean, it's sort of they like, it. even when you meet, have family reunions, yeah. you know, it's like, wow, we were, when, when you're with cousins and things like right. that, remember when we, and so it was kind of like that, to yeah. just go down memory it's lane, true. and it was pretty cool. It's been it's, a while. That was but, a yeah, really close cast, and now, you're also on a new television program. Well, not new, not new for us, but newer than Melrose Place. Yeah. That has a huge fan base. When Calls the Heart, obviously, is what I'm talking about, and such a very close ensemble as well. The yeah. show is skyrocketing from week to week in Incredible. viewership. Yeah, that and I, I, I got to defer to you, Cameron, and, and you, Deb, to just kind of when these things happen, you, you kind of don't, you know it's about the writing and the cast yeah. and the yeah. acting yeah. and how all that works and if the fans invest in it. Right. But to have it con continue to climb is just a blessing, you know. I mean, it's, it's just very huge. rare. Yeah, for sure. It really is. And, uh, you know, I think we're all invested in it. You know? Right. All the actors, we're, we all really kind of, we tweet live together, you know, we get together at Lori's house because she has the biggest house. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's really become really a nice journey, this show. Right. And it's, it's so obvious, the, the chemistry you have. Like you said, it either works or it doesn't. Yeah, this one works. exactly. And you've been exactly. through it a number of times on so many successful shows, like you say. But something about this show and the fact that it, the momentum, you're like, oh, that's great. It gained a lot of momentum. It'll probably plateau. <laughs> No, no, it, it just keeps, keeps gaining more yeah. and more momentum, which yeah. is amazing, absolutely amazing. Well, you know, we went through a transition, and I think this year is really about change and growth, and yeah. we're adding a two, two young right. men, characters, lead men. Hen, you know? Handsome men. Handsome men, <laughs> and very good actors, and I think the story supports it, and yeah. I think we've got this, we're in a place where, you know, the audience is either going to invest in the growth and yeah. the change, and it seems like they are. They are, think, they I definitely are. Holds and up. the baby, too. Oh, yeah, the, the baby, baby killed it. Forget about it. Let's oh, just. Let, no. Well, lots of good stuff going on. But this Sunday's episode, Bill, it's a big episode for Bill. It's got a little bit of a tie to our dearly departed uh, Jack, yeah. Auntie Jack, right? Absolutely. So tell us how that all connects. Okay, uh, you know, Jack passed last year. Uh, so we had to really rebound from that. And, you know, Bill and Mountie Jack were very close. And Bill is basically the protector of this community, mm -hmm. yeah. right? So, you know, what's been nice is we've shown the underbelly of him. He's kind of vulnerable with Abigail, right. Roy Lachlan's character. We see that side of him. But this episode really is about him standing up for the real cause of what Jack was fighting for. Yeah. And he really goes out and he's he's going to put these gun runners away. Right. And it turns out there was a bit of a crooked judge involved and huh. he let him go. Huh. And so we see this side of Bill that really is, was so great to play, but it's really about him honoring and defending the town and his friend. Beautiful. Well, we have a clip of Bill doing just that. Oh, good. Uh, defending. Well, let's see this. Uh, yeah, Come on, Jack's Jack. honor. To me. Come on, let's Bill. Take a look. Slash Jack. <laughs> Excuse me. Mitchell Quinn and Lance Wilcox. You released them. Why? Do I know you? Sheriff Bill Avery. I've testified in your court before, and I was scheduled to testify against Quinn and Wilcox. Yes, well, uh, upon review of the evidence, I found it insufficient to take them to trial. Oh, that's odd. Because the prosecutor said it was an open and shut case. Her opinion, not mine. As of two days ago, you gave every indication that you agreed with her. Are you questioning my authority in this matter? No, Judge. I'm questioning your motive. I've made my decision, Sheriff. Now you listen to me. You set free two of the worst gun runners we've ever seen. You'll go to jail for this. Good Mounties died bringing these guys to justice. Now, you're going to tell me who got to you, and I'm not leaving until you do.
Man, wow. Ooh, listen, okay. listen. I know. I didn't I, expect all that. As a guy who's worked with John before, you better be ready for anything. He I mean, throws you up against the I mean, I'm telling you, you never know. You never know. He's He's cool, but you great. know, you gotta when you do things like that. I had to check with him as an actor. You know, you gotta check. Are you good with this? Are you okay with that? And that collaboration, he really wanted it to be as real as possible. So did I. So that's when you can really get emotion into that. Do you right? ever? I know you can check ahead of time, yeah. which is good. You should always check with someone before you throw them up against the wall <laughs> yeah. and pound into them a little bit. Right. But do you ever apologize after and say, oh gosh, I, oh, was that okay? Because I heard his back hit the wall. <laughs> you always, you always apologize. <laughs> and, and he was so great. You know, he's a little bit older and he said, I'm good. Give me more. And that's, you know, wow. that's, that's when you mean. really have invested and you collaborate. How many takes was that? We probably did just just maybe two or three because of the camera angle. You yeah. know, it was a little sure. weird. Sure. So we, the... we did a couple, and it was just so real. You have to go with those things, you know. So it was right on. It was pretty real. It was I, good. I, I was happy with it. And I, when I was I'm watching, proud I, of that. It was a good one. I was a good one. I was thinking of back in the soap days. I know you, uh, General Hospital, me, and all my children had our fair share of uh, oh. fight scenes oh, back in the day. Fe felt like it was every other. Look week. at that hairdo. I mean, wow. look at that guy. You're my baby. God. Any of those fight scenes stand out for you back in the day? You know, there, there, there was a storyline, the, the, the diehard General Hospital fans will remember the Asian Quarter storyline, yeah. which we shot actually in Vancouver, and it was about, you know, Frisco had just become a WSB agent, and I was working with a lot of martial artists, so we had to do a, a scene with a net, and we had to do some kicks, and there was a spinning round kick that I got, I had to take, and it was wow. supposed to land out here, and he caught me full on oh, no. in my face and really completely put me out. Right, and this was like 19, early 1985 or so. So that was my first experience with a bad stunt, <laughs> you know. So we learned from that, you know, and we got to kind of miss sometimes. But that that was a time where. I really okay, but got was caught. it a bad stunt that actually ended up being a good yeah. stunt for TV? Oh, it was a great stunt. So they yeah, kept it. They, they kept it. They kept it. Yeah, yeah. Man, I got to tell you, I shook it off, and you got to move on. <laughs> I'm right? telling you right now. You've how about that, this? Right? How about this? And all okay. my children. Yes, yes. I, my character was involved in a Fight Club storyline. So every week I was coming to work, I was preparing for fights. You. I love it. Fight yeah. I like, Jack's like, you? You? Like, you're too cute. You can't be in a fight club. Oh, I think no, they were no. trying to toughen me up a little bit. Gotcha. He's done everything. He's been shot 18 times. He had amnesia. He has been with every single woman yeah. on the show married. Or I mean, your, your storylines were crazy. Something happened to me. I don't know what it was. Right in Melrose in the 90s and on, I think I've lost every fight I've had for about 20 years. <laughs> it's awful. I used to win them all. Now I lose them all. What's happened, Kevin? Until when calls guy. the heart. When calls the heart, I get to you win. Get to win. Right. I won against the judge. Yeah. It's always great catching up with you, man. I Thank really you. mean that. Congrats Thank on you. everything. Don't Thank miss this that. Sunday's all-new episode of When Calls the Heart. You know when. 8 p.m. 7 central right here on Hallmark Channel, everybody.